You have seen explosion animations like this in lots of popular YouTube videos and in this video I will show you a simple method to animate these explosions entirely in After Effects. And if you stick till the end I will share with you a bonus tip to convert your animation from this to this. So without any further delay let's dive right into After Effects. First let's start with animating the smoke burst. Let's start by creating a new composition of resolution 3000 cross 3000. Name the composition Explosion with a frame rate of 25 fps. Now let's create a perfect circle with the help of the ellipse tool. And of course you can align it properly with the align panel, keeping the fill and cancelling the stroke. And make sure to name the layers from the very beginning to stay organized. Move the playhead on the very first frame of the timeline and let's add a keyframe on the position property and one keyframe on the scale property. Press U to open the properties with keyframes. Let's jump on to next 18th frame and add keyframes. Now move the playhead on the very first frame and we are going to scale it down to 10%. Select the keyframes. Easy is it. For that press F9. Select the scale property keyframes. Move on to the motion graph editor and we are going to adjust the motion graph. Starting with a stiff curve that means it's going to start first and ending with a hard S. Now let's duplicate this layer 9 more times. Press U to open the properties with keyframes and move the playhead on the last frame with keyframes. Now we can readjust the skill and the position property of the duplicated shape layers on the 18th frame so that it looks like a cloud formation. Now that we got a cloud formation, we have to match the motion graph editor with the first layer's scale property. So we're going to select these two set of keyframes and we're going to use a free script called iscopy. And you can download this script from ascript.com. So go to iscopy. In the copy section, click on copy and then select the other keyframes on which you want to match the motion graph editor. So select all the keyframes and then go to the paste section and click on is. Now the motion graphs are copied and pasted properly. And now let's offset these duplicated layers by one or two frames in a random manner. So this is how it looks now. Now we are going to select all the layers and pre-comp it all together. Okay, now let's duplicate this pre-comp layer in the timeline and offset it by around 4 frames and use the layer above as an alpha inverted mat. Now if you preview the animation, you already got an explosion animation. Okay, so at the end, you may see some small edges of this cloud formation that is staying on the screen. So to fix it, just select the mat layer, open the scale property and scale it up by 1%. That's it. And it's gone. Ok now let's add more detailing to this explosion animation with line explosion effect. So select the pen tool, add a line stroke from the center towards the corner of the composition. This time I'm going to select the stroke and cancel the fill with a stroke width of 90 pixels. Let's rename it. Now open the layer contents inside stroke, inside tapered value. Let's change the start length to 100% and also the line cap to rounded cap. Now let's add trim pots. So click on this add button and add trim pots. Now open the trim pots property. Move the time indicator at the very start of the composition window. Now you can see that the starting point of this line stroke is not exactly at the center of this cloud. So we can fix it very easily. Just select this end and move it at the center. Okay, now let's get back to the trim pots. So, add a keyframe on the start property, end property and offset. Press U to open the properties with keyframes. Now let's jump on to next 6 frames and add keyframes. We are going to start the animation with end value 0%. On the 6th frame, the end value should be around 60% and we can move the offset from one end to the other end. Now let's jump on to next 6 frames again. And this time we're going to match the start property with the end property. So the end is 60%. We're going to give the start 60%. And now let's move the offset keyframe on the 12th frame. 
Okay, now it's time to adjust the motion graph editor. Let's start with the offset. So select the keyframes. Is is it? Go to the motion graph editor. Start the animation with a stiff curve. That means it's going to start first and ending with a hard is. On the end, we are going to convert this keyframe into an easy is keyframe. So press F9 and start with a stiff curve. Go to the start property and we are going to convert this keyframe into an easy is keyframe and add a hard is. So pull the basic handle. Now let's make four or five copies of this line effect and then adjust the shape path property or maybe rotate it in different direction so that it looks like a line explosion like this. And of course, to add some variation, you can offset this line effect layers by one or two frames in a random manner. And now we can crop all the line effect layers from the last keyframe and pre-comp all the line effects together. And now we're going to stylize our animation by applying few effects. So first, let's select this explosion shape layers and pre-comp it all together. And go to the effects and presets panel and type in roughen edges. And apply this with a border value of 110, edge sharpness of 1.5 and increase the scale to 600. Now let's copy this roughen edges effect from the effects control panel and select the line explosion and paste it on this composition as well. But this time the border value of 50 and scale of around 250. And we got our explosion animation. Of course, you can speed it up or slow it down depending on the requirement. And one more thing, if you want to add some frame by frame fill to this animation, just add a new adjustment layer and apply posterize time. And in posterize time, just reduce the frame rate. Let's give it around 12 frames per second. And now it's looking even better. Now, if you want to further stylize your animation like this or like this, then here are some bonus steps. Okay, first let's check out how to get this glowing effect. So select the composition, right click on it, go to layer styles and add inner glow. Inside inner glow, change the color to the color of the highlights. I'm going to give it some orangish yellow. This one looks good. And then I will be changing the blending mode to normal because the color is already white. So other blending modes will not work properly. Now let's increase the size to about 50 and increase the choke percentage to about 10%. Okay, now let's apply an effect called drop shadow. So go to the effects and presets panel and type in drop shadow and apply this. Now I'm going to change the shadow color with the color of the highlight. So we can simply copy the color code from here and paste it over here. And let's give the direction zero degree and the distance zero. Opacity of around 25% and softness value of 100. Now let's duplicate this drop shadow effect one more time. Decrease the opacity to 20% and now let's increase the softness value to 200. Again, let's duplicate this drop shadow effect. This time, the opacity of 12% and softness to 300. Now we will apply another effect called glow. So go to the effects and presets panel and type in glow and apply this with a glow threshold of 80%. And let's increase the glow radius to about 100. Let's duplicate this glow effect one more time. This time, let's decrease the glow radius to 15. And this is how it finally turns out. And if you think it's glowing too much, then you can go to the effects control panel again and reduce the number of copies of the drop shadow effect. And now it's looking better. Okay, now let's see how to add this cartoon effect. So it's very simple. Select the composition, right click on it, go to layer styles and add strokes. Under strokes, from the color, you can select the color of the stroke. And from size, you can increase or decrease the stroke width. So let's give it 15. And you got your animation. All right, so that is it for this video. I hope you can now animate an explosion animation in After Effects by yourself. And I'm also offering an explosion pack containing six unique explosions, which you can use in your YouTube videos or any other commercial projects. So that is it. And I will see you in the next one. And as always, stay curious, stay bold, and always push your boundaries. Goodbye.